Hello students, today our topic is Office Tools and in this lecture we are going to discuss about Microsoft PowerPoint. In our last video we already discussed about uh, cyber safety which is in unit number 2 and in this lecture our main focus is to discuss the main concepts related to Office Tools and in this lecture we will see how we can create PowerPoint presentation. So we will discuss PowerPoint presentation in this lecture detail. Let's start. What is Microsoft PowerPoint? Microsoft PowerPoint is a computer application program written by Microsoft. That is, that's why it is called the Microsoft PowerPoint, and it mainly used to design for presentations. So, in this video, we uh, see different aspects of uh, PowerPoints, different features, different options which are available in PowerPoint. So, let's start. So, that's why, it's in short, we also called it as MS PowerPoint. So first of all, how to start MS PowerPoint? So first of all, go to just the start button where all programs are there and you have to select Microsoft Office because MS PowerPoint belongs to MS Office means Microsoft Office. and then click on the all programs or you can search for Microsoft Office from the submenu and click it yes you can see yes, there is a MS Office so search for Microsoft Office 2010 from the sub menu and click it after that you can easily see that there is a Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 there are different versions of PowerPoint 2003, 2007, 2010, 2000 then most of the organization use more PowerPoint Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 so we will discuss here so we are going to discuss here Microsoft 2010 only so this will launch by the Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 application and you will see the Microsoft presentation window now when you just click on that MS PowerPoint you can able to see the presentation window so that is MS PowerPoint here. Now there is another met method to open PowerPoint. Okay, I will give you the idea of that. Just uh, right click of the mouse. and uh, just go to new just after that and uh, you can easily see that there are the different programs and you can select Microsoft PowerPoint out of them this is Microsoft PowerPoint 2003 different versions are available here 2003 2007 so give the name of the file now this file is stored on desktop you can easily see You can check the property of the of this file. This is a PowerPoint file, and the extension of this file is .ppt, where you can check the type of the file. So ppt. So ppt .ppt is the extension of the file. Always remember the extension of the PowerPoint is .ppt. and you can also go to all programs just like that as I told you earlier and uh, go to MS Office these are the different programs and 
pick uh, Microsoft PowerPoint here at Pi on uh, Pi Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 is here. So you can just click on that. Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 will be open. There are some new features in Pi Microsoft PowerPoint uh, 2010, but uh, almost uh, most of the features are same as that of the most of the options are same as that uh, are in Microsoft 2007 so now uh, let us take a quick view of window so when you just open the Microsoft PowerPoint it look like this and these are the different options available so this is all about explore window of uh, explore window in PowerPoint first of all file tab and then home ribbon is also there title bar slide area and help you can also see this by point where the arrow points out and these are the different options available in MS PowerPoint file tab just right corner and that left corner help is there and bottom you can easily see that zoom option is there zoom option is there to zoom the PPT then slide views different types of slide views are there note section and quick excel toolbar and slide tab basically these are in upper part of the slides but uh, now you can easily see that quick access toolbar and this is quick access toolbar first arrow and then second arrow that is on right hand side gives a slide tab now what is the functioning uh, what is the function of these tabs so let us take them one by one first of all let us talk about a uh, file tab so this tab opens the backstage view which basically allow you to manage the files and settings in the PowerPoint. You can save presentations, open existing ones and create new presentations based on blank or predefined templates. The other file related operations can also be executed from this view. So basically file tab is uh, used to open an existing file or uh, you may also create a new file using file tab. So both of the options are available in this and this tab opens the backstage view okay so you can save your presentation open existing one also you can also create new presentation so all these are options are available in file tab so open a file close a file create a new file save a presentations these all options are available in file tab These are the main options that are available in file tab. Next is a ribbon. So that is a ribbon you can easily see here. And uh, the components of the ribbon are basically divided into three basic categories. And these are tabs groups and commands tabs groups and commands so the, these are the three main components of a ribbon so tabs the appear uh, they appear across the top of the ribbon and contain group of the related commands such as home insert page layout are the example of the ribbon tab and uh, groups they basically organize the related commands and when we talk about the commands commands appear within the each group as I mentioned above so there are the three important parts tabs groups and commands. you can easily see on a screen home insert page layout these are the different tabs groups are basically the organized and related commands and commands appear within the each group of the mentioned above second is title bar next is title bar 
as the name suggests title bar basically show the title of the powerpoint presentation so basically it is a top section of the window it shows the name of the file followed by the name of the program which is which uh, in this case is microsoft powerpoint so this is first of all this is the top section of the window second thing it shows the name of the file followed by the name of the program so first of all it shows the name of the file followed by the name of the program which in this case obviously it is a microsoft powerpoint and you can easily see on the screen and that is a title bar here so name of the file and name of the program next is slide area next one is slide area so what is slide area this is the area where the actual slide created and edited actually all the works are done in the forms of the slides in powerpoint presentations so this is the actual area where you can create and edit your uh, files and you can edit delete or even uh, you can insert text images shapes multimedia in this section so these all are of all options are basically the part of the slide area you can easily see that this is a slide area where you can create and edit your ppts next is help section and the the help icon can be used to get powerpoint related help anytime you need it so just click on the question mark on the left corner le top left corner and open the powerpoint help window where you have a list of common topics to browse them and you can also search for the specific topic for the search bar at the top so different options are available which gives you a help related to powerpoint presentations and when you just click on that question mark so different types of topics are available there out of which you can select any one of them as per your choice as per requirement and uh, this will guide you to solve that problem you can easily see that that is the help option and uh, these are the different options that are provided by help what's new activating powerpoint initializing getting help file management getting started powerpoint you can browse by topics whatever research that type of help will be provided to you by ms powerpoint working with tables working with charts working with so all these types of helps are there next is a uh, zoom options zoom option is basically at the bottom left corner and as the name suggests you want to zoom in zoom out your ppts then it is possible because of the zoom option so zoom control let you zoom in for a closer look at a text and the zoom control consists of a slider that you can slide left or right in zoom in or zoom out there are two options and you can click on the minus and plus buttons to increase or decrease the zoom factor and the maximum is 400% and minimum and the generally it is 100% to indicate the mark in the middle the mark in the middle is 100% this option is also there in ms word so this is a zoom option you can see that this is a zoom option in ms word and you can see that zoom in and zoom out options middle is 100% so you can increase or decrease the size of the content of the web of the page similarly this is work in case of uh, ppt so same function is there in ms powerpoint
next is slide views how can we view our slides in powerpoints so there are three different views there are three different slide views in ms powerpoint and uh, the option you can see just uh, near about uh, zoom option so the group of the four buttons located on the uh, left of the zoom control near the button of this near the button of the bottom of the screen so near the bottom of the screen you can see the slide views and there are three different slide views normal layout views slide shorter views and leading views and the important thing is that we can only edit uh, our slide in normal layout views we are not able to make a change in using slide shorter view or reading view so these are the three different views in ms powerpoint first of all normal layout views so this displays page in normal views with a slide on the right and the list of the thumbnails to the left and these views allow you to edit individual slide and also rearrange them so you can edit and rearrange all the slides regarding to a presentation next is a slide shorter view basically this displays all the slide as a matrix form so different slides are represented in the forms of a matrix and this view only allow you to rearrange the slide but not edit the content of each slide so you can rearrange the slide using slide shorter view but you cannot edit the content of each slide so that is uh, the use of uh, slide shorter view and third one is reading view this view is like a slide show with access to the window task bar in case you need to switch windows however like the slide show you cannot edit any things in the view so you cannot edit anything on the reading view but uh, you can switch window using reading view so these are the three important views related to ms powerpoint and always remember that uh, in all we can edit the presentation using only normal layout view we cannot edit using slide shorter view or reading view and this is a very important question regarding to ppt as far as theory exam is concerned so sometimes it is asked that what are the different views available in powerpoint presentations so these are the diff three different views normal layout views slide shorter views and reading views and uh, we can arrange the slides both uh, in normal layout views and slide shorter views but we can add it only in normal layout views next uh, next topic is notes section first of all let us see here is the slide view you can easily see that near of uh, zoom options these, these are the different slide views and you can pick one of them next is note section so this section allow you to add notes for the presentations so these notes will be will not be displayed on the screen will not be displayed on the screen and during the presentation and these are just quick reference for the presenter so note uh, you can make note about each slide but these uh, notes uh, will not be displayed on the screen during the presentation that is an important point regarding to note section and note section is uh, near to slide views just above the slide view you can easily see that that is the note section views next is the quick access toolbar so the quick access toolbar is located just under the ribbon and uh, this toolbar offers a convenient place to group the most common use commands in powerpoint and you can customize this toolbar to uh, suit your needs so mostly what happens in the powerpoint presentation that uh, you want to access some tools in a very quick fashion then you can use quick access toolbar so quick access toolbar provide you to access different tools quickly and uh, you can customize quick access toolbar whatever are the, whatever are the tools you can 
you put in quick access toolbar you can easily access them so that is that's why it is called the quick access toolbar so it is customizable so the quick access toolbar is located just under the ribbon first of all and this toolbar offers a convenient place to group the most commonly used commands second thing you know and uh, this is the quick access toolbar. just see the arrow quick access toolbar is here this is quick access toolbar just under the ribbon bar, uh, ribbon so this is quick access toolbar and uh, last uh, slide tab slide tab is there and th this section is uh, available only in the normal view and you just click on the normal view only then you can able to see the slide tab And it is and it displays all the slide, slides in a sequence and you can add delete or rearrange the slides using slide tab so this section is available only the normal view first thing when you work on the normal view then you can able to see the slide tab second thing it displays all the slides in sequence and you can delete add or reorder slide from the sections using slide tab. Now just see the slide tab here. This is the slide tab. So all the slides are here. You can add, delete, or uh, rearrange the slides. This is the slide tab. Just uh, look look at the direction of the arrow. This is the slide tab. So you can add, delete, or edit different slides. Next uh, point is backstage views in PowerPoint. The next topic is backstage views in PowerPoint. So, in Office 2010, Microsoft replaced the traditional file menu with a new backstage view. That is the difference between the previous version of PowerPoint and the Office 2010. So, you can only see it in Power or in Office 2010. So this view is not only offers all the menu items under this file menu but uh, additional details but additional details which makes management of a file a lot easier so that is the main advantage of using ms powerpoint 2010 this option is not available in 2007 or 3 so it is only available in MS Office 2010 okay next is how to access book uh, backstage views that is the question next question so accessing backstage views the topic you can access the backstage views simply by clicking on the file tab and uh, you can exit the this view by clicking on any tab including the file tab again and you can also press the escape button on the keyboard so this is the method to view backstage backstage to view backstage view and uh, just uh, see This is a file tab, and uh, you can see here there there is a info option, which gives you information about the presentation. So that is backstage view. So it gives you uh, additional information. 
नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ बैक स्टेज व्यू अब बैक स्टेज व्यू हैज बेसिकली थ्री सेक्शंस और पेंस सो फर्स्ट इज यू कैन इजली सी दैट फर्स्ट सेकंड एंड थर्ड यू कैन इजली सी ऑन द स्क्रीन डायरेक्ट सी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द एरो यू कैन इजली सी द फर्स्ट पेन सेकंड पेन एंड थर्ड पेन और फर्स्ट सेक्शन सेकंड सेक्शन और थर्ड सेक्शन दीज आर द थ्री डिफरेंट सेक्शंस अवेलेबल इन बैक स्टेज व्यू सो द फर्स्ट पेन लेट इज टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट पेन दिस इज अ कॉमनली पेन विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द कमांड्स यू वुड टिपिकली फाइंड इन द फाइल मेन्यू of older versions in 2007 or 3 and you also have the option menu which lets you edit the options on the program like customizing the ribbon the first one is here these are the different options save and save as so these are the different commands and description is also given here let us talk about one by one but first of all save save command this allow you to save a new file on or an existing file in a standard format if you are working on the previously saved file then it is also saved in that case next is uh, save as that this allow you to specify the file name and uh, the file type before saving the file so if you want to make a copy of a previously existing file then you can also create using save as so two files are there the same content but with different file name using save as command next is open close info recent open basically allow you to open a new powerpoint files close basically allow you to close an existing file info displays the information about the current file and recent list series of recently viewed or edited powerpoint files then after new allow you to create a new file and uh, so new allow you to new allow you to create a new file using blank or predefined templates next is print which allow you to select the printer setting and print the presentation if you want to print the presentation you can print by using print option next is save and send so it allows you to share your presentation with larger audience via email so if you want to save save and send just basically work as a save your presentation and uh, share it with audience emails or using web or cloud services and next uh, point number 10 it is a uh, help so it basically provides access to the powerpoint help and uh, point number 11 option 11 is options allow you to set various options related to the powerpoint programs and at last exit so exit the presentation and exit the program finally if you want to exit the program then you can just click on the exit button so this is all about our today's lecture in which we discuss some fundamental concept related to powerpoint presentation i hope you are able to understand this concept so thanks for watching this video